stop, 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 stop. You're being detained. Stop. No one should ever break the law knowingly. It carries serious and far-reaching consequences. Sooner or later, law enforcement will catch up with them. Put your head back. Okay, go ahead and begin. From someone driving under the influence to someone behaving erratically near young children, here are some incidents where officers had to handle these delinquents. Can you listen to me? We're not, we're not arguing. I'm telling you what it is. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Our first incident involves Maria, who became intoxicated due to relationship problems. One bad decision led to another. Hello. Hi. Hi. So what's going on tonight? Why, why were you stopped? I was speeding. Speeding? Okay. Where are you coming from? The airport. The airport? Okay. Were, were you just picking him up or were you guys flying? On February 7th, 2023, the police officer initiated a traffic stop in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and started a DUI investigation. Upon confrontation, the driver told the officer that she was coming from the airport. Yeah, yeah. My, my son's at West Point, show him that. Okay. He plays basketball at West Point, and nice. he's trying to get back to watch his team on TV, so they, they play really close. Okay. Anyway, I love you guys, my son. With you guys, yeah. Well, that's awesome. So where? So you? So you were flying to, or I, I you just? From Philly, from Philly. You just picked them up. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Um, well, this officer here said that he was detecting some alcohol, and I also detected. it. Were you drinking on the flight? Yeah, I was. Yeah. You were. Yeah. Okay. She also got stopped for speeding, and then the passenger tried to rack up points with the cop, identified as her ex-fiance who said his son goes to West Point, plays basketball. During the conversation, the officer detected the smell of alcohol emitting from the vehicle. Have you had any alcohol? No, sir. No? It's coming from me. It's coming from you? <laughs> okay. My flight was delayed, so I started, I started doing uh, martinis at the, then, yeah, a couple martinis on the flight. So I apologize for drinking. Okay. Uh, but we're trying to get to my son's game to watch it. I, I understand that, I understand yeah. that. Um, and you guys are going where? Hope so. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I, I know this officer has some paperwork for you that, that he's, he's working on, so if you don't mind just stepping on out and we'll get that taken care stepping of. Stepping out? Yes. Over here is good. Right up here. That way the lights aren't in your face or in my face or anything like that. So he said that you guys were arguing as well? What was the argument over? Jealousy. Jealousy? Okay. He thinks I'm cheating on him because I moved down here. And um, I said something to set him off, and intentionally or probably inadvertently. Okay. Come on off. Mm -hmm. Don't okay. do this. I no. We, I mean, we're just trying to figure out why why the speed and, and everything else. Have you been drinking tonight? No. Do you drink? I do. When's the last time you had a drink? This morning. This morning. Okay. And why did you drink this morning? Because of him. Because of him. Just knowing that. What? No, I, I, I didn't drink this morning. I drank this afternoon. Um, it makes me anxious. Okay. And so what does the alcohol do for you? Yeah, let's turn around so that way I can just keep it on your, on your husband. It's not my husband. Oh, that's not your husband? I'm sorry. So who is he? I'm over here. I'm Leslie. I'm actually... I'm applying for a VA job. I just moved here from Pennsylvania. Okay, come over here so you're not in the light and everything else and it's a little more private. The passenger claimed that the smell was coming from him and that the driver was clean, but the officer was skeptical and asked her to step outside. She told the police that the male passenger accused her of cheating on him and so they were arguing. Her replies were inconsistent about drinking. Later, she told the officer that she consumed alcohol and also had her morning medication. The officer then conducted additional research. So you have contacts in right now? Correct. Okay, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assess your eyes, okay? We're, we're moving forward in this here, okay? I'm, I'm looking for your cooperation to dispel my concern that you're driving impaired, like I said, okay? Yes. Just stand with your feet together for me. Arms down by your side, all right? What I want you to do, I want you to follow with your eyes and your eyes only the tip of my finger as I yes. move this back and forth. Do not move your head, do not move your body. Just your eyes. You understand? Yes, okay. Now move your head. Keep your head straight. Keep your head straight. Don't move your head. Got out. There you go. 
Simulating this is your ninth step. You're gonna turn, making a series of small steps to turn around. You're gonna walk back, nine heel toe steps. One, two, three, and so forth until you reach nine steps. Okay, any reason why, I haven't told you to start yet, any reason why you're having difficulty here? Yes, because I'm not very coordinated. Okay. I'm 54. When, when I tell you to begin, I need you to complete the entire exercise without stopping. So that means you walk down, nine heel to toe steps, turn just like I showed you, and walk back, nine heel to toe steps, all without stopping. Okay. Keep your arms down by your side. Okay. I need you to look down at your feet. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And I need you to count out loud each step. Okay. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead and begin. One, mm -hmm. Remember, look at your raised foot, keep your arms down by your side, and count out loud that I can hear you. Okay. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, give me one second because I'm not quite ready. Are you ready to begin? Go ahead and begin. Mm. Arms down by your side, look at your raised foot. I'm not very athletic. It's okay. You don't have to be an athlete to do this, okay? Yes, you do. No, you don't. The average citizens. Come on, keep going. That's one. That's two. Four. Five. Okay, go ahead and stop for me. Oh, I'm that sorry? Time is up. Time's up. You're good. You're good to stop there, okay? Alrighty. Yes, sir. What's the highest level of education that you have? Bachelors. Bachelors. You know the alphabet from the letter A to the letter Z? What I want you to do, I want you to recite the alphabet from the letter A to the letter Z in a slow, non rhythmic manner. So, meaning we're not singing the song, we're not doing the nursery rhyme, we're not singing the, wow. the alphabet song. Okay? This is how I want you to do it, okay? I will, I will. You're gonna, I'm gonna have you raise your head, yes. just like you're looking up at something in the sky. I want you to close your eyes, and you're gonna recite it like this A. B, yes. C, okay. D, E. Notice yes, the pause between each and every letter? Yes. That's what I want to hear the entire yes. way. Don't speed up, don't slow down. Nice steady pause, okay? Arms down by your side from your feet together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now one second. Now one second for me. Go ahead and close your eyes, put your head back. Okay? Go ahead and begin. Put your head back. Keep your eyes closed the entire time, okay? Yes. Go ahead and begin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. Y, Z. Okay. Based on the indication of impairment, he took the field sobriety tests. The first test was horizontal gaze nystagmus, and she couldn't stop moving her head. During the walk and turn, she was unable to maintain her balance and blamed it on her age. The third test was a one leg stand. She lacked balance in this one too. In the next test, he asked her to recite the English alphabet from A to Z while raising her head. You ready? Yes. Okay, tilt your head back, close your mm -hmm. eyes, keep your eyes closed. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Said too. So, at this point, you are under arrest. What? what I would like for you to do is remove your jewelry for me. Okay? What? So you can do that. Can you Officers, do that can you listen to me. Okay. We're not, what are we are not arguing. I'm telling you what it is. I, 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 okay? I, I, I'll, I'll do what you ever ask. Okay. Go ahead. And we 
and your necklace. Go ahead and remove that from me. We have a female officer available. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is my life right now. Okay. Just so you understand, it is a traffic misdemeanor. Okay, in eight hours you will be released on your own recognizance. You don't have to post bail. I know, but like that. okay. This is going to go on my record. Yes. I am getting a job for the VA. Okay. There's, As a nurse. Okay. There have been. I I can't tell you how many times I've arrested nurses and they've kept their job and been able to get. No, no, jobs. no. I know, but I'm getting one. I just moved here. I need a job. Okay. I'm, this is. Your, I don't think you have anything to worry about with that. Before I have a female officer come and, and search, do you have wow. anything on you that's going to poke, stick them, anything like that? No. No other jewelry anywhere else? No, I don't. All right, come over here for me. Okay, come over here for me. I thought I did everything pretty well. I don't understand this. I really don't. But you guys are the guys, and I have to obey you. And then turn around and place your hands behind your back for me, okay? Put your, take your hands off your back. There you go. Do you have any other shoes in your car? No. Sandals, sneakers, nothing like that? No. Okay. Were you expecting me to ask that question? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, my name's Officer Wayne. Do you have anything on you that can put me through here hurt me? She can have her glasses on. Face face the car, okay? Just leave them. We'll, okay. we'll I mean, take can, care of that at the... I can unzip them because they unzip all the way down and get them that part real quick if you want. That's okay. You sure? If there's anything there, it'll be a felony charge at the jail. So okay. I okay. don't think that I don't think that she has anything on her. Okay. Go ahead, go right. ahead and have a seat back in the car, okay? I'll help you out. Go ahead. Lastly, the officer asked her to do the finger-to-nose test. The officer informed her about her arrest after she failed all the sobriety tests. Officer asked her to take off her jewelry, and she complied. He proceeded to outline the next steps for her. She was placed in cuffs and transported to jail after an inspection. She was charged with driving under the influence. Next up is an incident about an elderly man whose resistance to cooperation led to needless escalation. Stop reaching! You need to stay out of the car! In this incident, an elderly man got busted for not cooperating with officers and giving a false name to a police officer. Okay. Hey, Officer Sluter, Run Police Department. What's up, man? What's up? How are you doing? All right. Hey, I, uh, were you talking with somebody recently? Huh? Were you talking? What's your name? Why are you asking me? Um, I can't smoke up in the house. I gotta come outside and smoke a cigarette. What was what did uh, the cam what did the um say? What did it say? No. Furman, yeah. So uh, I had a lady call in. So I'm here for you. Uh, she said that she was concerned about a Furman, Mr. Furman. Would you have me to Mr. Furman? No, I'm not a no Furman. No. What's your name then? I've just gotta make sure because the vehicle, this silver impala. It, it, it matches what she said. She said that this gentleman left in a silver Impala. So this is, I mean, am I right? This, this is, is not silver. This is gray. A gray silver. I mean, it's kind of the same, right? I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure. I'll leave you alone if you can answer my question. Oh yeah, sure. I'll, I mean, I'll leave you alone if you can answer my question. This is, and you, and you can smoke outside. Right, that's what I'm doing. That's Fantastic. On New Year's Eve of 2023, officers responded to a call of a domestic dispute at an apartment complex. When the officer came in contact with the suspect, the man in Silver Impala denied being the person they were looking for. 
The suspect got annoyed about being questioned. So my question is, I mean, I, so this is why I'm this is why I'm here talking with you because the lady said that there's a gray, silver Impala. Okay, that's what we were told. This is this is um, a silver gray Impala, correct? Gray Impala, pretty close to it. Would you agree with me? This is gray, not silver. Okay, but it's pretty close to silver. Did you get gray or silver? I'll, I'll ask. I'm gonna go check that. Oh yeah, okay, good call. We can ask Metcom. We can ask Metcom. You stay here. One nine six. Could you again give me the clothing description of the individual? Tim Moore, thank you. So she said in she said the person was in a dark sweatshirt and jeans. So, but it's it's your. I mean, so everything is kind of kind of making sense here, I'm man. Sitting, I'm sitting here trying to smoke a cigarette. Sure, and you can smoke so a cigarette. I go up in the house again because I can't smoke up inside the house. It's a non-smoking facility. Are you Mr. Furman? Who? Are you Mr. What's your I, I, Foreman Furman? I, I, how do you how do you pronounce it? I don't know who you're talking about. That's that, that's exactly what I'm saying. I don't know who you're talking about. Okay, so all this matches up, man. Can you give me your name? My name is, is Ronald. Ronald? Yes. My name is Ronald. And what's what's your last name? Thomas. Thomas? Ronald Thomas, huh? And what's your date of birth? Seven. Randall? 126? 26 puts you... What's your 26 put a person at? What is y'all only for? So I'm you're 90, smoking you're 90 cigarette. something years old? I'm just outside smoking a cigarette. Why are you being honest with me here? I'm being honest with you. Why are you out here searching me? I just told you, man, so I'll tell you again. So a lady just called in, called 911 and said that there is a, a gentleman that just left her apartment and he drives a I've been, I just walked out silver, a gray Impala, and, and he has a dark sweatshirt on and blue jeans. So, it, I've got to properly identify you, sir, okay? I need you to be honest with me, okay? Well, I don't think you're, I don't think you're 90 something years old, okay? If you're born in 20 something 20, let's, okay. let's be honest. Okay, I just need to make sure that you're the, the person she's talking about and then I'll leave you alone, okay? What's that? Not no person who you're looking for. Well, you, I, I have explained to you twice now, and you are the person I'm looking for. You've matched the description. So could you give me an ID, a driver's license, and I'll get you on your way. Just give me a driver's license, and I'll get you on your way. That's all you got to do, man. I'll figure out what's going on, get you on your way, talk to her, and... Talk to who? What's that? I, I'm just I'm trying to... I told you there was somebody that called in. I thought, let me get... Who is, who is the somebody? That's, a, that, that, that's what I'm trying to get to. What's that? Who is the somebody? Who's the somebody? For her sake, let's let's work on this driver's license first. Can I get your driver's license for me? Because you match the description. I've told you twice now, okay? You told me twice. Mm-hmm. It's understandable. But who is you looking for? The officer confronted him and told him that he was driving the same vehicle and wearing the same clothes. But the old man denied being the same person. He identified himself as Ronald Thomas, providing a false name and date of birth. The suspect refused to provide his ID and a driver's license, even after repeated attempts by the officer. Who am I looking for? I, I've, to, I've, told, I've told you some of these things. I just need a driver's license from you. Um, a I was just sitting outside smoking a cigarette, and you won't... His last name is Furman, and you've given me a name that with a, with a date of birth that would put the person at 90-something years old. Are you 90-something years old, sir? No. Okay. So let's let's uh, let's let's be honest with me. Let's get your license and let's let's figure out what's going on. I'll get you on your way. All my stuff is upstairs. What's that? All my ID and stuff. Is so what's your upstairs. name then? What's your what's your real name and date of birth? I just told you. Nope. You're not. You just you just said you you were not 90 something years old. I just told you. My you gave me. Sir, as of right now, you. Yep. As of right now, what? You've given me a false name.
What'd you just tell me? I need a I need a real name of the date of birth. What is your holy what is your You have given me a false name and date of birth and at this point, okay. I'm telling you, you can't tell it off. Me no kind of What's that? You've not given me no kind of lesson I need about nothing. Your, sir, your vehicle matches the description of a lady that my had mentioned things. Nothing. And it, does, it matches my, my the description vehicle of a vehicle? It nothing because some fact. I was just sitting outside smoking a cigarette. And, and she said you possibly see. could be, could be, um. And I'm drinking my water. What's that? And so you have not been drinking? No. Okay. You, you're not, you're not cooperating with me. That's what you're not I'm doing. I'm cooperating nope. with you, but I'm not doing nothing. I'm just sitting out. You here. need to cooperate with me. As of right now, you are not cooperating with me, and in fact, you've given me a false name, okay, which so is illegal. What you want you me cannot to give a give a gun officer a false name, okay? I need you to be honest with me. What is your name Call and date of birth? Call your side. What is your name and date of birth? Call your side. You want to talk to my side supervisor? This gentleman is not cooperating very well. He's given me a false name and um, no information. He's asked for requesting a supervisor. <laughs> Sir, do you have a license plate? Yes. There's no license plate on this vehicle. It's in the back window. What's that? Back window? Do you care if I can I clean off? It's pretty dirty. Can I clean off where the where the uh, sticker is? Is that okay with you? Go ahead and do that. And see where see what the number is. Uh, yep, it's right there. Go ahead and run it. Yeah. Top. Oh. No! 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 no. Are you all right? I'm good. Do you need any medical assistance? Is that your guy? Yeah. Why'd you run from us? The suspect refused to cooperate and refused to identify himself. The officer repeatedly tried to inform him that he matched the description of a man related to a domestic disturbance report. The man then asked for a supervisor. The officer noticed that the man did not have a license plate. Upon locating the plates, the officer tried to run tags on the vehicle. The suspect immediately fled the scene. He crashed into a ditch and was located by another officer. How'd you feel out of the parking lot? We're not shooting. We're just trying to see what's happening. Can you stay out of the car for us? You're strapped. Shoot! Stay out of here. Shoot, Dean! Stop. Can you stay out of the car? Stop reaching. Can you stay out of the car? Stop reaching for stuff in there. Sir, you need to stay out of the car. Stop reaching! Sir, you need to stay out of the car. Let's get out of the car now. Sir, get out of the car now. Get out of the vehicle! Sir, the last warning. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You need to get out of the car now. You need to get out of the car right now. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Come on. Get out of the car now. Stop this thing. Get out of the car. Oh, watch your head. Get out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. My hands. The man kept ignoring commands and needlessly escalated the situation. The officer gave him the last warning to step out of the vehicle, and he eventually got arrested and transported to the police station. He was charged with fleeing and eluding an officer, DUI, resisting and obstruction. If this incident was not bizarre enough, wait till our final incident, where a woman did the hilarious thing to avoid the police. No, stop, put your hands behind your back. 56-year-old Kimberly Archibald did something shocking in a school lawn, then tried to utilize an equally outrageous tactic to get out of trouble. On December 28th, 
2021. The police responded to a call about a woman who was acting erratically at a school premises. She was witnessed urinating and defecating in plain sight near the school's entrance. Yeah, I saw her kneel down by the trash can in the front there. I saw her kneel down and she pulled her pants down and she peed and then she went over to the grassy area. And I'm sure she was pooping because she had her pants all the way down again. And I was like, okay, I gotta call the cops because something's up with this. So just odd behavior. And then yesterday a few times, she looked out the window of her car and she was yelling obscenities to me. I'm sure they were obscenities. I couldn't really tell what she was saying. But she was like yelling at the top of her voice. I didn't respond. I just walked away. I kept walking closer to my car in case I needed to get in my car. Because at that point I was kind of concerned about my safety because she was obviously in some altered state. So, right. so I don't know. It's just really bizarre behavior. The witness called the police. She stated that Kimberly exited her vehicle and started acting erratically walked around the front of the school while touching plants and the school wall, and then the witness saw her doing the deed in the bushes in front of the school. Hello? How you doing? I'm Deputy Getro with the Sheriff's Office here in Vero Beach. What's up? Uh, I'm just coming to do a welfare check on you. Somebody said that you were parked at the school and possibly took a dump in the bushes. No, I didn't. No? Okay. Um, you were at the school though earlier, right? No, I just drove through for the first time today. Okay. They described you to the T as being there earlier. Oh, long, I, 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 long I, I, lady with a uh, purple, purple jogging suit. You look a little tired. Are you okay? No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I saw you have Massachusetts license plate. Is this a rental or is this your car? Okay. Do you have a driver's license I can see? Why tomorrow? Do you not have a license? I have one, but it's Florida. It's Florida? So you have a license out of Florida then? Ma'am, do you have an ID? Just call them for nervous and try to get it out. Okay. I see. Do you have an identification? I see. What? I see. Are you calling me Satan? No, I didn't get Satan. I didn't. I don't have a name there. Ma'am, do you have an identification? There. Can you do me a favor? I'm just going to go. Hang on. Hang on. Stop. 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 You're being detained. Stop. Stop. Nope. You need to stop. Stop tensing up. Stop tensing up. Stop tensing up. Stop tensing up. Nope. Nope. Stop tensing up. Stop tensing up. Man, you need to stop. You need to stop. Stop. Let me go, please. Let me go, please. No. I didn't do Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, let me go, please. 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 Here, sit up. Sit up. No, ma'am. Been trying to identify you, figure out what's going on. Clearly, you're in an altered mental status. You won't follow any of my commands. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Right, stand up. Come on, stand up. She also saw the suspect yelling foul words. When the officer came in contact with the suspect, he started his investigation and asked her about her driver's license and ID. During the investigation process, she stepped in or out of the vehicle, 
and whenever she came out, she started doing jumping jacks, ignoring the officer's commands. Left with no other options, the officer apprehended her. Oh, you're a nice man. Let me go, please. Have a seat. Yeah. Right. Have a seat. Put your leg in. So what was your name? Ma'am, what is your name? Kimberly Consolo? No, ma'am. He wouldn't follow any of my commands. Maybe just wrestle you to the ground. Why would I let you out? Can you tell me what your name is? Constantly? Constance? Ma'am, you're going to have to talk to me. I don't... Kimberly... Constance, what's your birthday? Ma'am, all I was trying to do is check your welfare and verify your identity because you're alleged to be trespassing on school grounds. Okay, uh, well, you refuse to identify yourself. Right, and I asked you several times what your name was. You just sat there and didn't say anything but mumbled. Constant. Constantly. And what's your first name? Do you have a Florida driver's license? Do you have a social security number? All right. What's your last name, Constance? What? Constance is your last name? Do you know where you are? All right, that's everything you told me. I okay. appreciate it. All right, absolutely. Thank you very yes, much. I appreciate you guys keeping us safe. You know, you walk in broad daylight in a public place and you think everything's fine and it's just creepy. You know? yeah, there are strange people everywhere. Yes, there are. <laughs> Thank you guys yes, for everything you do. Certainly. Thank you. Once the officer placed her in a cruiser, he asked for her name. However, Kimberly did not identify herself. The officer tried to identify the issue with her, but she was in no state to answer any inquiries. Later, the witness appreciated the police work. Kimberly was charged with trespassing on school property, resisting arrest, and giving a false name while detained. Her bond was set at $3,000. If you enjoyed this electrifying true crime video, subscribe to watch more.